Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and I'm here with the Mitsutoi Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to explain what the Easy Editor Insertion Point, or IP, is. So let's get into it. So here you see a view of QB Pack, and down in the bottom here I have Easy Editor with a program already loaded. And when we talk about insertion point, or sometimes it's called instruction point, or sometimes simply IP, what we're talking about is this arrow right here. What that's showing you is, whenever you take a measurement, that is where that command, that measurement will be inserted into the program. So moving the insertion point anywhere else in the program will result in inserting measurements somewhere else in the program. The IP can also be one of four different colors, and those colors tell you what's happening with the program. So for example, blue, like you see here, means everything in the program prior to this node where the IP is has been executed. In other words, the program has been run. If the IP is yellow, that means something above the IP has been simulated. So for example, if I move the IP, let's say up to here, simply by right clicking and choosing insert, the IP moves to that line. So again, any measurements that I take now will be inserted in this new location, but notice that the color change from blue to yellow. What that's telling me is because I moved the IP and the program has not been run, everything has been simulated up to that point. An orange IP means that we're in the middle of a measurement. So if I click on a point, notice that the color changes because now I'm inserting a new measurement into the program. And finally, red means that something above the IP has changed. Usually something has been deleted. So for example, if I delete this point, I right click and choose delete. It asks me for confirmation and then QBPAC will ask me once again for confirmation. And now that node, that entire container actually is removed. And now notice that the IP has changed to red. So that's how the IP works. Don't forget to check out our other how-to videos. And for more information on this and other Mitsutoya equipment, please go to mitsutoya.com.